Hello and welcome back. My name is Shams Lali. In this video, you are going to see the sixth meal of my day. This is my favorite meal and the one I find easiest to digest. Please watch this video until the end because not only are you gonna see the macros for this meal, you will see the entire day's macros from my meal one through to six. I was really shocked to see how many calories and how many grams of fats, proteins and carbs I eat daily. I genuinely did not realize it was this much. This is what it takes in order to hold a decent amount of muscle on your body. Please comment below and let's share what everyone's favorite meal is so other people who are watching this video can get a great meal idea of something that is around the six to 700 calories and has good protein and good carbs in it. I want you guys to share some meals that other people can add into their diet. So please comment that below. If you give my diet a go, I wanna know what meal of mine is your favorite out of the six. And before we get into the actual meal, I can confirm that eating carbs after eight o'clock will not make you fat. And I think you'll be able to trust that with the condition I have got in the past, that that is a very incorrect myth that people think is really true, where you can't eat carbs after a certain time of the day. Here is what I have for meal six. I measure out 85 grams of porridge. This is the chocolate whey protein I will be using. I have a teaspoon of almond butter. I have 75 to 80 grams of Greek yogurt, and I have 100 grams banana and 30 grams of blueberries. I do put mainly water into my porridge, but I do add a drop of milk just for extra taste, especially right now as I don't have to be super strict on myself. I put it in the microwave for two minutes, 10 seconds. That sort of doesn't have it too wet, but at the same time it has it quite dry. When I then mix my protein into the porridge, it's not too wet, but at the same time it's not like cement. I add my one teaspoon of almond butter and then I just weigh up around 75 to 80 grams of Greek yogurt before adding my blueberries and also slicing up 100 grams of banana into it. This meal is a bit of a dessert to me. It tastes great and it, I find it really easy to eat. So the macros for this meal are, and that is my meal that I have around 10, half 10 at night some nights when I've been up late working on YouTube videos or I've just had a long day and Theo may have gone to bed late. That's how late I eat that meal. And also if I'm training first thing in the mornings, which I am a lot of the times at the moment, I find that this gives me enough energy because I don't actually have time to eat before I train in the mornings around 6.30. So here is the really crazy thing. If you watch my videos from meal one to meal five, you will see all the macros throughout those videos. Now I've totaled them up and this is what it comes up to. Now that is an insane amount of calories, meals I eat every single day. I did not realize that the calories were that high and I train five, six times a week weight training and I always hit a minimum of 10,000 steps a day. So with the amount of training I'm doing, that is what I need just to maintain the body that I currently have. I'm not super shredded and I'm actually feeling a lot lighter than I would love to be. I would love to be a few kilograms heavier and be a little bit more fuller so it just goes to show how much you need to eat in order to maintain a muscular physique. If you're thinking about just hitting steroids in order to grow and gain size, I challenge you to eat this amount of food first. Start eating like this and then if you hit a level where you are physically not growing or gaining any muscle, then obviously look into steroids if competing is something that you really want to do but I do not advise taking steroids 
unless you are really serious and have everything perfectly in line with diet, training, and your physical condition has been pushed to your best level. So check out my video, what I think about steroids. I'll leave a link for it up here. So if you put the hard work in, dedication and consistency, you will achieve the body you want to achieve. I will do a whole video, just one whole video, on what I used to eat on a meal prep day, which will be a little bit longer, but that I guess will be for the guys who are thinking about competing, so it might be a bit more tailored for them, so look out for that if that is what interests you. But in the meantime, I am working on videos around training. I am going to give out free training plans in the next couple of months. So I really hope you enjoyed these videos around diet, which I think is super important but I am working on something to give out for free to as many people as possible. I wanna give knowledge and advice around training for free to those who want it and need it. I find this is the best way to do it. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.